Hey, good afternoon, everybody. This is the professor with Day Trading for Success. Let me put over this uh, disclaimer here. So I am going to be talking about the positions I'm going to be taking tomorrow. I'm going to put this out this afternoon. So this is a rarity that you get what I'm going to do. Uh, I don't, I'm probably not going to make a big habit of it. I'm really concerned, I have to tell you, very concerned about people um, losing money. I'm very concerned because I lose money all the time. So just because I say I'm interested in this position, remember, you know, you need to seek the advice of somebody you can trust. Please read this disclaimer. And it's, it's you know, I bat about, you know, on my swings, 70 to 80 percent. But um, I'm also in control of when I get out and get, get in and get out. And you guys won't have any of that advantage it's just about what I'm planning to do. So I will go over that with you. Two different things today. I'm going to go over what position I'm going to take tomorrow, Tuesday. Um, but also, I'm going to talk to you about how to set up the open strategy from scratch, because I will be trading the open strategy most likely on AMD tomorrow morning. So I wanted to show you how to set that up, how I would be setting that up for the morning. That's what we were just talking about, uh, a group of us that were looking at that tomorrow. We made a lot of money on NVIDIA today and um, Microsoft uh, today. No, my, Microsoft today. That's where we made the money. Um, I'm going to be trading NVIDIA tomorrow. So I will put that up for you. We were uh, upset Microsoft didn't go quite as high in the morning, although now it is going way higher because of all that news that's going on with that. Okay, so hopefully you've read that. So I'm going to start with um, the position I'm going to take tomorrow morning. So if that's all you want to watch, then you can just not watch about this open strategy that I am going to set up. So I'll go right to uh, NVIDIA. Um, so I did do a pre-layout pre a little bit about this. Uh, just actually just a few minutes ago as we were talking about certain price levels. So it broke 500 um and uh you know we knew that's that's a mark where you now you need to watch what's going to happen with 500 it did it once before um so i set up my fibonacci's and i'll tell you how i my fibonacci with extension so i tell you i'll tell you how i did that and this is pretty typical so this is 10 days back so you can see <clears throat> You know, I put it put it down, put its low ten days back. I do drew the regular Fibonacci, but then I did the extension so I could get the readings above that for tomorrow. So here's all the possible pivot points. Now, when you're up in the stratosphere like this, you have nothing to go by. So having these these Fibonacci uh, retracement extensions is or the in extensions. Um, is really one of the few things you can go by. You can go by long-term trend lines. I'm not a real huge believer in trend lines, but you know I use them sometimes. But so when I say I'm going to look at this tomorrow, we're going to trade this tomorrow, I definitely am going to take a swing position on this tomorrow. So let's talk about what I would be looking for to take profit or to take a uh, or to get out. Right. So I'll probably do a thousand shares, and it's a big trade for a stock that moves. Is many it's AT. Let's take a look at its ATR. We should set that up right now. Um, let me get this. So you can see the extensions here. So right now it's still it's still really I should set the ATs are I'll, I'll set the ATR up in the morning. That's why I didn't do it already. Yeah, so I'm going to wait for the morning to set these up. But basically, you take the close of the day, and then you look at the ATR, which is, you know, running at about 14 bucks. So you cut it in half, $7, and you subtract $7 from the close and get the ATR low and then add to the high. So that will be our main spot to take profit, the $7 if it goes up. So most likely, $7 down. I will get out. That's a 7K loss. So that's a huge loss. Um, well, let me just think about that for a minute. I don't want to lose 7,000. So in reality, that formula will not work with this. So probably what I'll do, it, it, it's, it's sort of hard to tell you because it's, I want pretty much just want to tell you, I'm going to be looking in the video in the morning. I'm going to make my absolute plan in the morning but i i pretty much don't want to lose more than three grand so since this is 14 dollars, i'm really focusing in on the atr um i might only trade 500 shares so that i can 
ride the the width of the ATR and um, and not get shaken out of the trade, because if you look at what happened uh, today, close. Um, let's take a look at it real quick. Everybody has their own strategy with this, you know. So look, look, it it went way down, and then made its move. So it went from. It opened right. What did it open at here? So it opened. Where did it open? Right here, it looks like, right? So it opened here, but it was plummeting just before the open. Opened around 393, went all the way. It, went only, it only went about a couple bucks down. So it wouldn't shake me. That would have been 1000 to 1200 bucks, and then it just took off. So I would have made big money and gotten out. Uh, today, uh, well, I wouldn't have gotten out here probably. I would have held it. Um, let me just see. Yeah, <laughs> rightfully so too. Yeah, I definitely would have held it until, unless it came back down. Usually on these situations where it goes up, um, I will sometimes run a trailing stop, but if it goes back below open after it's done this, I'm just going to get out for a for a no a no profit trade. But so I'll hold. I'll hold after this. Um, I might, sometimes they take some shares out, you know, you take a little bit of profit, so you're not going to, you're always going to be ahead. Um, and then I ride it, you know, I will ride it for the day. If this, this could happen tomorrow. I mean, the news is just so positive on the, all these big seven tech stocks. So um, this could go up to 515, 520 tomorrow. This could go, just, just go through the roof. So there's no real way. The news isn't really telling you either way. You just look at the action. And then coming from a scalper's mentality, I have a certain way I do swings. I mean, I did have a swing mentality before the scalping mentality. And that scalping destroyed me for uh, holding long terms. I don't like to hold much past a day. Sometimes I'll hold a week. But I pretty much don't like to go past the day. I like to get out at end of day so that I can just sleep at night, not worrying about anything except the except the, the big accounts that are being managed for me. That's a whole other way of thinking where you you realize you're going up and down. Like I said the other day, you're just looking on your phone how much money you made, you know, every day. And, you know, then they, they, they drop into your account the, every month, you know, what you make to, so you can maintain a, a living. <clears throat> Uh, you know, retirement or whatever you're doing. So that's a different way of trading. Now, swing trading, and I just really enjoy trading, as I'm sure you can, you've told, you can tell from my videos. Um, I'm looking for this to make a move of, of, uh, of at least $7 ha up to its ATR high tomorrow. So that's probably going to be around. Let's see what happens. At, you know, again, it's really hard to call it because I don't know what's going to happen here on the extended session, you know, so I don't know. Uh, after hours between extended and pre-market is this going to be way down here it'll be actually easier to call it up if it's if it loses some of its way um, so i look at it in the beginning like it's an open strategy uh an open strategy trade so if i'm seeing it break um the low or the high it sort of tells me which way i'm going to swing for the day i pretty much want to play nvidia as a bull, not a bear. I would hate to hold a short position of NVIDIA. So if it goes down and breaks um, the pre-market low, um, if there's, you know, I don't know if there's going to be such a thing or it's going to consolidate again. There's a lot I don't know, but I am looking at it and I'm going to use the same strategies that I do by calling the ball with the open strategy as to the direction I'm going to go. So since I only want to trade it long, most likely, if it's if it's falling off, I'm going to sit back and wait. I might revisit it at 10 o'clock to take the swing and see if it's pulled back up. Now, a lot of times you'll see on these um, stocks that are swing stocks that they'll go up um, or down, you know, uh, at the open in the first 15 minutes, often the first half hour. And you can set your highs and lows on a 15 minute or a half hour then. You know, how did it move then? Or you can set it on the pre-market. Uh, open strategies based on the pre-market. There's a lot of people that wait for that first 15 minutes or 30 minutes and set the highs and lows. And that's another way to – and then usually what happens is 9.45 to 10 o'clock, things consolidate for a bit unless it's just a really super active stock. So you got to look at that. So hopefully you've watched enough of these videos so you kind of know what I'm talking about. The RV strategy, you make money consolidating. 
you know. So that's why we like to go in at 10 o'clock because we now all the channels are marked, whether it be a 15-minute range, a 30-minute range after opening, or the pre-market range, or you're doing Fibonacci levels, or you've done the four-hour levels. You know, however you're creating your channels with the ATRs, when a stock's consolidating, then there is a lot of opportunities there, and it's it's really hard to lose a lot of money unless you just don't follow your plan, your max loss per trade. And you've seen me not do that sometimes. I'm guilty. But, you know, and keep your share size in a way where it can trade within the channels that you see. Is it a 15 cent channel or a 40 cent channel? So if you're trying to do a 40 cent channel and you have a share size for a 15 cent channel, you're going to, you know, you could have a potential of losing money. So that's all in that book, Day Trading Volume 1. All the channels are called out. I recommend you look at that or at least watch the videotape about it um because that's how you manage your risk so much like with the, that i will take that strategy i will take the open strategy and then i'll take my overall look now remember we have that video i'm not going to go over the whole thing um about which way the market's going to go and it's pretty accurate so i we all do that first thing in the morning we look at the spy we look at the cues we look at the you know uh, the tick we look at we look at the vix we look at everything most likely it's going to show it's going up. You know, it's almost a no-brainer, but um, we'll look at it anyway and see what's happening. So we'll look at that. Then that, And now what makes that go up? Well, the big seven, you know, NVIDIA is one of those. Now, it just made a big rise. So a lot of people would say, hey, I'm going to play this short. I'm going to take my profit. I'm going to play this short. And they may be right. That's why I worry about telling you what to do. So, you know, if you've never done this before, you should be doing this in a sim. And remember, I'm just... A dude. I'm not a licensed financial advisor. So yeah, I have luck in trading. I do pretty good. Um, and I do feel like I know what I'm talking about. But all that being said, I can't give you advice. Go low share size. I'm just telling you what I'm planning on doing. In the end, in the morning is when I'm really going to call it. I'm really going to call it. Then what I'll do is I'll set alerts if i'm you know i'll go ahead and do my trade trading most likely i'll be trading in the morning um and i'll do my scalping and i and i most likely will not scalp nvidia i usually don't scalp the same uh stock i'm um swinging on i if and if i do i do it on a completely different account so it doesn't mess me up it's it's hard i've done it many times but you know you you, you have to figure out what are you because you want to always keep your swing position so it just becomes really confusing but uh um I forget what my point was there. But anyway, so uh, I'll be most likely I'll be doing the open trade. I, we're looking at the open strategy for AMD, and I'm about to set that up for you. So unless a bunch of things change tomorrow, AMD looked like that was the best rated for the criteria that we use in the in the um, uh, trading um, journal logbook. God, I can't even remember the names of these things. But anyway, that has that criteria. So does the video. So anyway, that's what I'm looking at tomorrow, guys. I'm going to be looking at NVIDIA. And I'll just kind of give you the big picture one more time of it. So, you know, you can see that the retracement level, the, um, the uh, extensions are um, right here. So those are besides the ATR, if I'm holding my position, I'm going to be looking at these extensions. So pretty much... This is the main one that would come into play because these are going to be for longer holding, which I won't do. I doubt it'll ever see this level, but it might see this level. So you're going to see me looking at this. You're going to see me looking at the ATRs. You're going to see me um, <clears throat> looking at, at throughout the day. What might happen is as it's like if you take this, um, like let's just take this. Day. I'll, t I'll show you one more thing, what I do. And you know, you've probably seen me do it. But like, say, this is the day, right? So, and this started to happen. So I would be marking these after they happen, these these flat tops here, here, as the day went on, you know, I'd be marking this down here, this over here. So if it started to come back down, I'd have something to go by. Or if it started to come back up, I now look at those as resistance if that went in there, you know, that, and, the, and this came down and then went back up, you know, I'd look, hey, that's a possible resistance. So I'll do that on the swing. And then, oh, I know what I was saying. I will set um, alerts. I'm sorry. I will set alerts. And if I'm not at my computer, then I'm sending them on my phone. And it gives me a little, you know, a little um, sound that it's, it's reached the level that I want. And usually, since I have like four different setups in my area I'm at right now, 
usually I'm near where I can get on a computer, but if worse comes to worse, I will, I have it all, I think, or swim on my phone. I mean, I, I strongly advise that whatever platform you use, you have it on your phone. Okay. And then I will get out, of, get in or out or add or take some off or whatever at that point. But I, I think profit taking, I, um, I don't normally, you know, I'm not normally giving you guys this advice, but I do take profit a lot after it goes up and I keep a lot of the position. Uh, sometimes I will um, start lower with every intention of building up the position uh, as it goes up. So there's different ways you can trade, and I probably won't make that plan the first thing in the morning, and you won't have the advantage of seeing that. So I'm just kind of giving you the overview. This is the one. Set your extensions. Uh, set your Fibonacci on a 10-day, 5-minute, then set your extensions. Once you have it set, just set your extensions. And uh, if you don't know how to do that, sorry, I should have showed you that. You just look for that under the drawing tools. And then when you clicked on that, like when you do your extension, you, go, you just follow the exact Fibonacci you have and then click off of it, and then it'll open up your extensions. See, like that. So, But we don't want that to happen, so let's get that one. <laughs> I mean, I guess I should have showed you like this. So if I went up like that and did that, then these extensions would, would happen at the top, from the bottom to the top. So they just go, oh, you just follow your exact Fibonacci on Think or Swim the way you did. Every, each platform does it a little different. The light speeds is different than this, for instance, and so is uh, uh, E-Trade. But um, anyway, so guys, that's that. Now I'm going to take you back to, um, hopefully that was enough to at least so you can see what, if, whether I'm going to live or die tomorrow based on that stock. And remember, make a trading plan. What are you really prepared to, to lose? Uh, I always think of that... Um, untouchables with uh, Sean Connery saying, what are you prepared to do about it? <laughs> it's a terrible, terrible imitation. But, uh, you know, you need to you need to do your your trading plan and be prepared, completely prepared. You want to lose 100 bucks. You want to lose 50 bucks. You don't want to lose anything. I'm just saying, like, cut it out. And you just when it's there, just say, OK, I picked the wrong stock. It's the wrong day. Come back to live another day because most likely you will have a lot more green days that way. And then if you set your loss, your, your max loss much more than what your profit is. And I didn't really talk about that, but I would say two to one at the least is what I go for for profit at the least two to one. But when you trade the RV strategy, of course, you're trading the channels. It's not a two to one type of situation. So you can get confused if you're used to trading the RV strategy. Okay, so here's AMD, and this is already rating really high because some of these channels are going to be channels from the previous day or the previous five days. You're probably going to get some SMAs in here, um, and it's it's a it's a another it's not really one of the big tech stocks, but it's a techie stock. It's been gradually going up. So depending on which you see that I trade this a lot because it moves a little slower. So when we're going to do the open strategy tomorrow, and I don't know where this is going to be exactly, but I'm going to tell you how we're going to set it up as far as I can set it up prior to the, you know what, I'll just set it up like, let me just set it up like this day didn't happen yet. So you can see, because I'm going to have to reset it up all, all again tomorrow anyway. So let me go to a uh, ATRs first. So we'll look at yesterday's close because remember, we're going to act like today didn't happen yet. So yesterday's close was 120.62. You can't see it probably under my picture, but 120.62. The ATR is roughly $4, a little bit less. So we would go down to 118.62 would be the low. Just make sure I'm on. A... So let's set our ATRs. That's going to be the low. Oh, I guess I already had that on cap. I took it off a of cap. I like the big, bold capital letters. I make it a triple, and I extend it off to the left. So that's good. all the settings that I do to get the ATR are low. And there's my ATR low. Now I know I'm going to add the total amount to that. So that's at um, 
This is how I'll do my, the quicker way to do your high ride. So that's 118.41, right? Is that what we said that was? Oh, God, let me just open it up. What do I have it at? 118.62. All right, 118.62 plus the $4. So 122.62. So... I hope this will be helpful for you guys um, so that you can maybe trade the open strategy along with me, even though it won't be really watching me live. Okay, three extension. So that's how I would set it. I would have set it up for this morning. Um, I would have also marked that open session high because it's so pivotable. Pivotable? Pivotable? Pivotable. Yeah, I think that's it. Um, and I would come back and I probably mark some of these days too because they're right in it for the open strategy. So this is our what we're looking for. So let's see. So we've got that right there. Now you haven't really seen me do this much, um, particularly this way. We're going to do a day. We're going to do a day uh, orange. Okay. And it's just that this is so great that there's so many days stopping right in this ATR. It's like perfect. Not too too long ago. Look at that triple tap, 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 tap. So this is great right here. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to see what happened with these. We're going to see how it played out. Those go outside, those go outside. This one is, for the most part, picked up again. Wow, that one's really respected, huh? Then there's this one's a little lower, kind of in between the two. I wouldn't call that strong enough. And that's pretty much it. That hit that there. That's picked up. Wow, that's picked up over here. Look at that. So this one is real strong. Um, and that's kind of it for the what we can do for the day. So now we've got our channel set. I have no idea what's going on with this. Is this because this is so like off of the... Yeah, let's just put this at 10 and see. There we are. Although I'm not trading it yet, so I don't know why I'm doing that. But So now on the, on the 10 day, we need our fibs. So here they are, high and low. So we'll do. I would do a Fibonacci here for the open. Actually, no, I don't. I'm sorry. I don't do that. I'm getting to the RV strategy. Would I do that? The only reason I would do a Fibonacci is if we're out of... Um, I'm sorry. Let me just make sure. Yeah, no, I don't need a Fib for this open strategy here. If we were just all, all straight up like that, I would do it. But I think I'm going for pivot points only and open and close. So um, let's just make sure I don't get confused because this is the end of today. So we want to go here, um, and we would mark the pre-market high, which would have been right here. Oh, I'm on the fibs. Right. Sorry, guys. I wasn't, oh, I'm trying to sneak this in for you. So you got to cut me a break here. Let me go back. Uh, All right, so this one right here would have been the high. Oops, <laughs> can't see the microphone. I know, I have to look at my keyboard. Sorry, I'm an old timer. I never learned to do that. Uh, so we'll call that. So there's your pre-market high. We would have been watching when the market opened this day, and then we would have marked the low down here. So it looks like they would have got us in. Uh, they would have got us going a short position. Yeah, here's your low, pretty much right there. That's your low. Well, I wouldn't. I wouldn't grab that spike. I grabbed this, and it hit it over here too. Some people might disagree with that, but that's what I'm going to do. I try to get an average there. So probably about right there. I'd call that the low. Oh, 
Okay. So that would have been our range. And then the other things I would have marked would have been open session pivots from the previous day or two. So let's look at those. So these are strong right here. So I definitely would have marked here. And I would, have, you know, I just call that a pivot. I say open session, open session pivot. So I know it's not pre-market. I give more, more weight to the open sessions. And if they're open session, I keep them as a straight line rather than a dotted line. Some of my older videos, you'll see that. Here's another great pivot area here, turned around. So it's just where it turned around. And I didn't do open session. I'll put it the other way. All right. So there's that one. This one here looks pretty strong. Hit it four times right there. So that's uh, another one. Okay, you got to see me mark it out. It's not edited, so you got to watch the whole process or fast forward. So there's there's some pretty strong ones, and then probably right here would be one to mark too. That's really I I tend to want to call that but that the open session high, but you know I, I'm going to give anything open session the same type of respect. Theoretically, though, this should be this should be high. I know it's not right at the spike, so remember, and it, and it talks about this in the book too. You're 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 trying to find a mean average, you know, where you get the most hits. So that one is kind of, you know, you could have gone higher. You could have gone, you know, some people say you've got to do the spike. I just know when it's getting anywhere near this, I'm on, I'm on full alert, you know, to go into the position or to watch it for pivots. So let's go back a little further. See if we have any other ones. See, here's, here's another one here that's really strong. Now, I should have probably had that extending to the left so I could see if this is already being picked up, but I'll just put it here, open session pivot. This is all for the open strategy. So I'm looking for very, very recent activity to repeat, very recent stuff to, to turn it around that for some reason people are adding or subtracting to their shares of stocks at these moments. It's not silliness. It, it happens day after day, the same place, the same position. Look at all these. My God. So you start over here and see how it's tapping here, here, and here, and then continue to respect it all the way across. So I'd probably go right in here and mark that. So a lot of this you see in the RV strategy, in the early RV strategy, until we switch to the four-hour so let's see. I think it starts to drop off here. Yeah. Oh, here's one. Let's just make sure. Again, I, I didn't extend these to the left. These might be picked up, but in the meantime, I'm just going to do them again. Be curious to see if it's... That's right near a day one. Yeah, that orange line is the day one. So that's not the 200 moving average. These are weird action here. I'm not sure about these. And I think we're way off the the mark here. No, there's the ATR low. So no, this is, look at those. Wow. These just hit all the way across here like a ledge, right? So we'll mark all those. Now this is giving us something to go by, you know, when we're, when we're scalping, when we're using our scalping skills. We, we're, we're looking for things to help us to, to uh, um, so that's two days back. I thought that it dropped off here, but it doesn't, huh? It keeps going. So I've got that marked at the open session highway back here. There's another one. I'm kind of doing further back than I normally would for you guys. Let me just mark these like this. I won't write them in. So we're getting, we're spending a lot of time on this. Uh -huh. Now does it drop off? Yes, okay. So let's go back. That's a lot more than I normally mark, I'll be honest with you, but. Now is this the actual day? 
So let's talk about what would have happened. No, here's the, yeah, this is the actual day. So let's talk about what, how this would have been. Oh, let me go to the one minute to do that. Let's go to the one minute and go to the open so we can see, and I'll talk about how I would have traded it. So this is the, yeah, that's the full day. So here's the open. So let's go in like maybe to just after 10. We'll go to like 10, 15-ish. Right around in here, right about where it turned around. Look at that. Okay, so there's the area that we would have been trading. Now this is in, this is all the way across because it's done, so it wouldn't have looked like this. But so where's our pre-market high and our pre-market low? So here's our pre-market high. If we were going in high, it would have been way over at ten o'clock. If we were going in low, it would have been almost immediately we would have got in short. So this is what would have happened. I would have got in short probably on this candle. Um, I would have got in short and then been wary. And then somewhere around here, either gotten out, flipped it, or taken all, gotten out of the position, or taken a loss, or reversed right here, started to play it long. So we have this pivot. And then as it died out, gone reverse, re relied on the pivot line, that open session, it's total, totally respected it. Tried to catch some scalping in here, and then watched it draw down. I would have been con pretty much convinced at this time point we're going to have a downward move. This would have convinced me that it's going against what we expected. I would have been short here. This is hard, actually. This is not a great... Uh, you have a bunch of these to watch just to scare you. <laughs> these pivot lines down here, right? Now it's drawing you back up. To, you, would, you hear me say it, right? Oh, it's, it's turned around. I, I reversed by this candle, you know, the second green. It's drawing us back up. Be careful. Be careful. Is this going to reject it? Oh, I would have reversed somewhere right here. So right around here, it's easier to call than right up here. This was a little harder, but now we're getting into uh, 9, 9.42. I'm shorting, and then I'm holding. I'm holding somewhere around right here after the second almost doji, and I don't have as great a position as I would have had, but I'm still making money. I would have reversed. It might have shaken me out, but probably not. I would have held. Here, I might have reversed because look where it tapped, the pre-market low. Bam, does it respect it, right? So it probably would have reversed and then watched right down here, watch what would happen, see if it pulled back, either caught this or not. I might not have reversed till up here, had a small loss. Then I would have been going long, and then it would have, I would have stayed long for a while. I probably would have stayed long. I might have got shaken out here for a short reverse, then back in, short reverse, then back in. You guys have seen me trade. In the long run, I'm definitely making money on this strategy here. I definitely, and there's, look at the day. So what happened at the day? Not too much, it hit it twice, three times actually. So that was one of the day ones that I marked um, that came into play. Now the point of control wouldn't have been here. That would have been really helpful to call. Um, and that must be the VWAP. No, why is that red line there? That's not the ATR. Is that the ATR low? No, that's not the ATR low. I don't know what that red line is right there because it's not marked. I mean, I guess that's the center of the point of control because where's our ATR low? It must be down here, right? Yeah, way down here. So, um, yep, that's just the actual point of control. But see, that's not there now because it's passed, so you wouldn't have had that. So as I got near 10 o'clock, this is a half hour, you know, I would have been looking at these up here uh, where if that's they would have been up there. I would have been looking at the open session high. It never made it, right? So this didn't work like a, a typical open strategy today. I'm hoping it'll do better tomorrow. Um, but I'm not sure this is what we would have picked today. Uh, in fact, I know it wasn't. We, we picked um, NVIDIA today. No, I'm sorry. We picked uh, Microsoft today. So we wouldn't have picked this today. So, But you, it still could have worked. Um, but anyway, so that's how I, I set it up. So if you want to do that for tomorrow, we're going to be trading AMD tomorrow. And I hope that that works. And we're going to be swinging NVIDIA tomorrow. And um, I'll try to go into more detail. I'm responding to like 10 different emails about this and a couple of chats about asking me to do this. Um, and I just want you to know I'm very concerned. I'm very worried for everybody Um about I don't want you to lose any money based on anything I say. So make sure you check with other people. This is just my opinion, what I plan to do, and you should do 
whatever you think you should do. I'm not, I'm not, I've probably said that way too many times, but I am actually honestly concerned. I, those are the kind of things that keep me up at night that people um, think that I have all the answers, and I don't, you know, because I, I play it on the fly a lot. Yes, I have some knowledge, but I play it on the fly a lot. I change my mind all the time. It's like, um, okay, guys, I hope this was helpful. Um, I'm trying to think if there's other chat questions to answer. Somebody had recently asked if I removed a bunch of episodes. I did. I had been mentioning that I was going to, so hopefully you watch those. Some of them were sound quality. Some of them I just didn't like, you know, after we had conversations in the Million Dollar Margin Club. I just didn't like what I said. I didn't like the information I gave out. It was, like, not clear enough. It was it, You could misunderstand it, and I didn't want people to misunderstand. So I just took them down. I'm, I'm going to make enough videos, and I'm covering – the same, I think it was only like four, four or five over all of the hundred videos, but we went through them and people, it was somebody's job to go through them and then bring up certain things. And it was more of the more recent ones, um, other than, you know, the dark pool one got removed a while ago because of the threatened legal action against uh, us. But, um, but yeah, it, it was just a, a quality thing, a quality thing. So we'll cover all that if you're worried about what you missed. I'm going to cover the right information, you know, hopefully. But from time to time, I will take episodes. It's not about making money on YouTube. You know, every every view gets gets lost. Every penny that it makes or whatever gets lost. I'm not, you know, that's why you never see anybody take videos down. But I don't, I'm not going to say I don't care about it, but for the most part, no, that's not in my mission statement. So, um, so I'm trying to think if there's another question. Um, a lot of live trading questions, just not up to that yet, guys. Um, so just delayed a few days. Um, don't want to be responsible. Um, and maybe someday. But this this should help you. And hopefully the videos that the, the sheer, um, you know, volumes of information that are over all those videos are, that's what I can, that's what I can share. And you know, I believe in these strategies, the open strategies, the RV strategy. You see me demonstrate it, you know, live demonstrations all the time. You know, how how it will work for you. Trade in the sim, though, because, you know, everybody looks at things differently. Okay, that's it. That's the end of my message today. All right, guys, stay green. Good luck tomorrow. And I'm going to put this right out and whatever you decide to trade. I hope you and I both are very green tomorrow. All right, have a good one.